Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial video about how to import and how to convert OpenStreetMap data to AutoCAD drawing. First of all, let me show you how to download and how to get data from OSM website. So here let me in Google type OpenStreetMap to go to OpenStreetMap website. In the interface of the website, so you can use the search box here by typing the location or the name of the area that you want to download, as well as you can use zoom in out to navigate to the place that you want to download. So let's for example use Roma as an example and zoom in to the area of interest. So when you once you find your area, so you click on export icon so click on export a pop-up window appears in the left of your screen so you use this default coordinate to export the entire window view or you can manually select a different area if you want a portion of the displayed view so let's click on select the manual option then you use this box to specify the area to export so once you specify the area so you click on export so wait till the download finish so the exported file will be as an OpenStreetMap extension Point .osm So as you see here we have map point .osm Now importing this file into AutoCAD So to do that we can use spatial manager tool to convert data into an AutoCAD drawing once you get spatial manager tool it will be added to your CAD menu so is this one spatial manager so you click on so click on spatial manager then click on import so click on import button and then navigate to the folder where you saved the point osm file so you select it and click on next So as you see here in this table, the OpenStreetMap data are segmented into different layers depending the layer type and its designation. So we have for example building, boundary, geological, land use, roads and more layers. So let's start by importing building data. So you select building data. So once you select your file and uh, you click on next this file will be imported as a different AutoCAD layer so here for ge in general option so you give it a name for uh, it is balding so you name it baldings and use field values for layers so you select uh, the corresponding layer which is the balding so select balding then you click on next you can also perform a transformation of coordinate to your project system so here in the source series 
so it is WGS44 and the target CRS so you click on this arrow and click on CRS catalog so click on CRS coordinate system catalog then you navigate to appropriate coordinate system for your area or for your working area so so for example here I want to convert my data to metric and to find the UTM zone of your area so you can use Google Earth so here I have this file UTM zone which you can find it in Google so in Google search box you type UTM zone and you download the file then you open it in Google Earth so for example here for my area the zone UTM zone is 33 north so now go back to Sierra's catalog and you select UTM zone 33 north so let's find it so you select the UTM zone which is a projected coordinate system then you click on select then click on next so click on next and wait till the running the task finishes and click on close so once the task finished so click on close so here we are we have bolding area uh, bolding data are imported to my project and so you repeat the same process to import the other layer that you need for example list do this example for roads or geological layer so you click on import then you select the file so let's now select by a road so you select the file and click on next then here the imported as polyline for import as polygons and here for in general option it is a road or route use field values for layer which is the road so you find road or route is okay then you click on next for the project college system the target now it is selected because we defined it before and you click on next next so wait to so wait till the process finishes you click on close so now we have the road layer imported to my project so if you have any suggestion or improvement to my channel so please comment and if you need any other trick or tutorial just tell me and i will do a tutorial about this thank you for watching and see you for next video